benefit from winning this week as well. I mean, that's yes. almost a guarantee. Not quite, but pretty dang close. That so would almost go. put him in second. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, momentum for Slayer already at the start. Pushing Salt Face in the corner, and this is not exactly where he wants the start of this set to go. Alright, Slayer's gonna put himself in the corner. Oh! Wait a second! He's using piercing! Oh yeah, this is the first time in top 8 that we've seen him use piercing at all. He's used ethereal every wow. single time we've seen him. This is exciting! <laughs> it's because he's never used piercing! Uh, maybe he's using piercing to use the range on his normals right, to right, right, counteract right. the staff range. Yeah, because Shaolin, I mean, just Kung Jin in general, has really good mid-level range. Oh yeah, and there we see it right there. Even, even catching Melina out of the air. I think I was the only one excited to see Piercing, just because it's from Salt Face. <laughs> and Piercing's been doing really well in EU. Of course, this was the first week where Foxy, Foxy didn't, win. didn't win, losing to Irish Mantis playing stunt double. Yep. Oh, nice. Mixed it up. The last hit of that string is a low, but instead he went for the armored overhead. Ooh. Oh, didn't get a conversion off that. Was a little bit too far for that down one to reach. Oh, it's a Slayer looking to close this out. This is going to be very close. It's not going to end it. The chip should guarantee it here. There's not enough to... Ooh. Oh, okay. That was a good choice. Not only did it have armor, it was invincible. Oh, but that was not a good choice, unfortunately. And that's going to be the first game for Slayer. The internet. Go ahead. Uh, no, that this flip that she has is actually plus if they're crouch blocking, which is something that I feel nobody's really talked about, if that's true. But I did hear that that was from Soulface's mouth. Wide open tweaky mouth. Well, that sounded oh, like I was insulting him, right? but that was a Molina <laughs> joke. Forward. That was a Molina joke. I'm sorry, Salt Face. You have, I'm sure you have a wonderful mouth. Stop. <laughs> stop. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to stop there, yeah. All Broadcast right. is over. <laughs> can't even do this. It's the first match. All right, but Salt Face is looking really good here. Those flips have been working really well for him. Yeah. I mean, I like the way that uh, Slayer started off the round and just used a meter burn dive kick. Making it safe, trying to go for the instant overhead. Yeah, it catches so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, that with with kind of a whiff punish, I guess. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's sort of Slayer's signature tactic. Yeah. Is in this game and most NRS games, you can jump and do a jumping Riffing attack, normal, yeah. and even if it whiffs, you can special cancel it on whiff. So you see him jump, miss his jump attack, you're like, oh wow, he messed up there. I'm just gonna swing on him, but he cancels it right into that dive kick, catches you unaware, gets a full combo. Oh, nice. The armored ball to get some damage and pushing towards the corner. Here we go, Salt Face now with a chance. Double roll combo again. I love that combo. Oh, oh. nice block though from Slayer. Uh, interesting punish right there. He yeah. caught her out of the air, he but. could have waited a second. He actually would have got good damage. Yeah, a lot more. Potentially. So now the fight is back to mid screen. Slayer backing off. Oh, that should be the kill. Low. Oh, no. Just breaker. Ooh, nice down one and footsies. Could have teleported oh, again. Oh. These these random teleports are kind of killing Salt Face right now. I mean, that's the third one we've seen in the set so far. That's true. If he had done it a little bit earlier right there, he could have actually punished him on landing for the flying kick, but that well, the was thing way is, too is we late. don't I mean this also could be the factor of like these two do kind of play often. So it's it's that it's that mentality where they're doing a lot of things that Makes sense to them because they play each other so much that isn't normal because we don't see them play as often. Like training partners will always kind of do some weird things to catch your opponent out of. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to once you guys are so used to each other. Exactly. The normal tricks won't work. Ooh, very nice pressure. Goes for the overhead string. Ooh, no block by Slayer on the last yeah. hit. Because normally we don't ever see Selfish just throw out teleports like that. True. Yeah, he's, he's normally very calculated with it. He does a reaction. Oh, doesn't catch oh, no. the jump over. Could have got a whip punish still, but uh, it was a, a lot of missed opportunities by Salt Face. Oh, so much patience and respect from both players. And there we go. That was the flip move that I was saying could potentially oh. be plus. Oh, Whoa. why the reset? Oh, oh no. no. Why Salt Face? Why? He had it. Oh, Tim, his Molina is no, absolutely No, the thing amazing, is, is Salt Face is a really good player. He just has trouble closing it out. Nice block in the overhead. Ooh, doesn't block the second hit of the flying kick, though. Okay, that wasn't the worst situation there for Salt Face. Yeah, the first hit of that does not do very much damage at all. That is going to give him a little bit of space, too. Now Salt Face does have, again, a teleport. Nice block, and here we go into an armor ball. It worked out for him, but... Again, this is very unlike 
Salt face through so many teleports. What a beautiful down one. And this is what I'm talking about. Slayer is the best conversion artist in the NRS scene. Gonna be close to chip here. Oh! That was actually buffed to get more yeah. range in the last patch, so that's a use of that buff right there. He's in footies. Mix up. Oh, and the yeah, flying. This is it. Oh, and there's the teleport I, again. I, I, I mean. Did you at least try? He had to do something there, right. but regardless, he, he'd already done a teleport he's very right, like right before. Right, right, right. Yeah. And technically, I mean, he did build a bar, so. All right, so Slayer's actually on match point here, but Salve's yeah. got a little bit of a lead. All right, what's the mix-up? Nice block. I think what, what Salve's doing with those teleports is trying to catch a shock room. Ooh, those overheads should not be hitting Salve. That's actually pretty easy to fuzzy guard. Oh, nice. Counters the armor with armor of his own, but drops the combo. Nice block. Good blocks. Now, another thing that is going to be taking advantage of is on the way back, you can armor before the uh, shotgun comes back and hits you. So nice you grab. actually can just punish it with a full combo, but Salfax hasn't done that even once. Don't, don't you dare. Okay. Oh. okay. I thought he was going to teleport. <laughs> don't you dare teleport. <laughs> Come on, Salface. Non-biased commentary. Here we go. All right, good start by Slayer here. He's going to push him back to mid-screen. Oh, just down one that roll. It's very risky. Yeah, Kung Jin has one of the best down ones in the game. All right, Saltface is getting very close to being on his last leg here. So they're trying to bait something out, gets caught with the overhead. We're almost at chip life. There's almost a flawless here. Yeah. Nope, no nope, more. Not anymore. Oh, that's a punish. Way, uh, we've seen him make these comebacks before. Oh. Just not this time. Yeah, unfortunately. Slayer just really looked like he had Selface's number. Selface, he had that match. It was as guaranteed as can be. Some of you may not know him because not too many people do know him, but he is a Kano main. He does use mostly cutthroat. All right. So, okay, nice blocks. Oh, okay. Yeah. So far, I'm all about game time. Let's go. No bias. No bias. Nice block in the overhead. That's now, plus. those knives are yeah, very Another plus. overhead. Oh, drops the conversion. Nice! Good presence of mind immediately goes for those neutral frames with the armored up all. Ooh, whoa, that must have been an action. That was also very ballsy. <laughs> I think what that was was the input for that buff uh, when he strikes his chest is down, down three. I think he might down three right. and accidentally got down, down three. I but mean, either way, he didn't get punished for it. So. True, yeah. And no armor to get out of here. Now, one of the advantageous things in this matchup is that Kano's reversal up ball is nice six frames. Dash. Ooh, that was nice. Yo, That's let's kill. go game. Sorry, am I? <laughs> I'm not being biased. <laughs> no, that was great. That was really good yeah. uh, patience by game Absolutely. time on defense right there. He didn't get opened up. He waited and took the perfect opportunity. But like I was saying, reversal up ball is six frames, which is one of the easiest punishes for the overhead flip that Alien has. Right. And to be honest, I mean, Dragon is no slouch. He is the top player. Yep. He's made top eight at multiple majors, ESL and offline, so he's definitely a huge threat. But right now, Doomtime is handling it very well. It's nice to see a Kano in top eight. Yeah, just using that zoning, building a little bit of meter. Meter is very strong for Kano. Uh, he does, in this variation, have his EX buffs that leaves him really plus on a lot of things and increases his damage. Yeah, so he's actually going to choose not to break here, and oh, that's that probably why. Kill. One meter here. Oh, no! he dropped it. Oh no! No! <laughs> Anything right there would have been it. He he could have gone for a much simpler combo. Could have been one one two in that situation instead of the low string. Could have guaranteed that kill. Could have done down three in the chip again. But uh, he did the same thing again. Maybe he is doing that on purpose. Uh, maybe, but I'm not sure why he would be. The EX version I believe has armor, so I could see that happening. But I'm not sure. Oh, getting opened up here. Now this is huge for Dragon in the corner. Oh, and that's that bad. Is... Most likely going to do it now. No meter to do anything. Yeah, Dragon's going to kill it out. Wow, he went from guaranteeing that win to losing. This is uh, something we're just seeing as a trend. Whoa, we need to ask production, I mean, hey guys, can we just go like play now? I'll tell you one reason. It's because we both suck. <laughs> 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 Those days are behind me, sir. But yeah, like we were saying,
need to close things out, but great armor. Game time has been super, super good on hitting on uh, the reeds with that armor. Yeah, now, very consistent. It is really unsafe, but it gives them a full combo on him. High risk, high reward. Okay, down oh, there we go. Getting himself out of the corner. Nice little bit of damage there, 32%. Now slowly running Dragon in the other side of the corner. Another mix-up! Oh, Two of them! That's it, that should be the kill. Oh, the oh. drop again! I, I don't know if I can do this. That was, that was actually really cool. Did he backdash right there? The first hit of that did, ball yeah. missed, and that was weird looking. Oh, that's another change too, is now his up ball, or his air ball is an overhead. Yeah, so you can actually instant overhead people yeah. with just instant air ball. It's risky, yeah, but it's uh, if, if you can condition them, it works. Oh, oh nice no. patience. Nice patience from Dragon. That was very solid. So much quarter damage. It's gonna be 40. So, I mean, so he's going to lose this round. Yeah. I would have tried to interact just to get right, out of there. just to get out of the corner. I was just about to says that. And you know, we have seen game time use a lot of straight oh, ball. That was, that was really good, really yeah. high in the air. We've seen him use a lot of straight ball armor, but he can be using EX up ball too, which is yeah. safe. It's six frames, safe, it's twice. Such a good armor check. Yeah. And that could really work well against Honestly, Alien. I know it's risky, but just doing instant air... Well, he has a really fast overhead in this variation, but... Just throwing those out, just like that. More up uh, instant air balls. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, he oh, dropped it. He could have had the kill right there. Yep. Again. Nice. nice. Game time, finally. So that one. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go home. Uh, yeah, this is a character, Alien in particular, that so many people are worried about right now. They're looking right. at him as potentially the top contender. In the game, yeah. potentially, potentially. There are lots of arguments about that, but nice seeing a stuff, character yeah. like Kano take him out and kind of beating him at his own pressure game, it could open a lot of eyes. Yeah, Cutdown has a lot of really solid pressure. Nice backdash there from Dragon, and still, game time is kind of stuck in the corner here. Whoa, raw up ball with that? I don't even know what that was. Just traded on Wake. Gonna burn the bar, no. And he's gonna try to go for chip. Nice backdash. Oh. And this is huge. Even if he loses his round, he got out of the corner. Just kidding. Oh. That was no. That was also a great <laughs> option by Dragon. Yeah. I mean, I would have. I think I would just try to jump back. Just get out of there. Yeah, no matter what you can do. Literally get as far away from that corner as you but, can. I mean, at least he's not directly in the corner now. He's oh, about no, he's to about be. To. Yeah. <laughs> that is one of the greatest strengths of Alien. Is that anywhere he hits you, he's gonna pretty much take you to the corner. Another oh, drop. Alright, full conversion, that's the strength of Tarkatan. Oh, nice, nice overhead. That was a mix-up right there. Yeah, I think that's about with the back one, yeah. yeah. The back one string does end in a low, so it maybe kind of fake game come out, thought he was gonna go for the full oh, Wow, this is such a dominating round for Dragon, but game time using the interactable to get himself out of that pressure. And Dragon putting him right back in. That was actually a really risky use of armor right yeah. there. But it's gonna pay off for him. Yeah, Dragon taking the second. Excuse me, third game? The third game, yeah. So he's going up 2-1. Wow, full Ooh. combo. He's all of his meter in there. Chop, chop. You think he could still just like ball around, even if he did that extremely well. But with perfect execution, he would be up 2-1. Oh, here we go, though. This is going to be a nice chunk of damage. Yeah. He's two meters there, 42%. Oh! Again, wow, game time is going to try to close this out with a flawless. Actually, it can't be a flawless. The reason why it's oh, not a flawless, that's he right, hurts himself. His buff. That's right. That's yeah. right. But yeah. I mean, technically, that was a flawless, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's a Kano flawless. That was a very aggressive and successful round for game time. Nice side switch. That was actually really beautiful. Well, that's very smart. Ooh, good back. Dash. Both of these characters have great back dashes. Again, getting caught. Last hit of that string is a low. Goes for the armored overhead for the launcher and the combo. Dragon now trying to answer back with a dominating round of his own. Nice. Another side switch combo. Both of these players, very comfortable with their characters. You can yeah. tell. Oh, that was a risk. Honestly, at least he's mid screen. That's the only thing I can really say. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a risk, but his life was so low that he had to yeah. Understandable. Ooh, and trading the jumping four with the knife. That jumping four from Alien is so far. Alien's like a zoner, and he just oh, uses his tail to zone. Another risk. It's actually the first time the dragon blocked that, so it wasn't a terrible choice from game time. 
but now Dragon with all the pressure in the corner. Ooh, just does it again. Just kidding. I'm not afraid. Yeah. <laughs> I get a lot of damage off of that. There That's we go. the mark of a really confident player, though. I'm not going to let you take my tools away. Ooh, and he stopped the check. Oh, but he didn't stop both ball checks right there. Ball check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's what they are. Yep, Dragon is getting very close to closing this out. One more hit potentially, or oh, just runs Ooh. up for the down two. Expected him to wake up, I think. Game time, oh. nice back dash. That's it, chip death yeah. right there, guaranteed. Drekas. Finished it. And uh, really could have had something going with that back dash. Unfortunately, he could have. I wonder if he had used a faster normal if he could have punished. Yeah. I think it's possible, but. Uh, unfortunately, he just wasn't quite able to just to take the win right there. I mean, it, it was close. It was a very, very close set. Maybe that's some drive, and he said on Twitter that he figured out a little bit of a better way to play, so I'm hoping we'll see him. But here we go, starting out. All right, already taking DJT to the corner. Nice hit him with a meaty, meaty forward four. Doing great oh, throughout, but he is playing A-list. The Jail King. Oh, what? Now that is one of the buffs that Jason recently got. Is he now has a six frame down one. That was a huge issue for him, yeah. especially in matchups like this. Having a, yeah, I think he had a nine frame down one and that was just garbage. So, <laughs> yeah. so having a six frame is a huge buff. Oh, and here's the chance. Get a, oh, oh, that reversal. was clean. Now the red screen does reverse your inputs, going for a tick throw. Oh, that was very intelligent from DJT. That was. And that was a scary position because anything that White Boy did would have killed right yeah. there. He isn't relentless, so he is going to get the damage buff based on how much life he's missing. That's just kind of a passive. So even a normal throw would have taken about almost 20 there, I think. Oh, that was actually a good trade. That was a very good trade for DJT. Yeah, that actually has a ton of recovery. So you can hit him out of it with pretty much anything. You just have to be ready for it. I really like the range at which DJT is playing, but White Boy finally getting his way in and again utilizing that red screen. <laughs> oh no, no conversion off of the down one. You just want to stay quiet when you hear, when yeah. you hear that sound and you see that. Like, dun, 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 dun. What's happening? Oh, Ooh. nice armor though for the tick throw. Now DJT is very close to closing this out. Yeah, the break right there. Ooh, that's not going to do too much for him. Oh. Nice jump! That, that gives you, grants you a full combo on hit, and he got the side switch to put him what in the corner. What a combo! Oh, oh no, no! Not quite chip right there. Oh. That was so clutch. That was. That was. Fart. I wish these players would lit the intros rock more. The intros in this game are amazing. Yeah, I mean, especially with Johnny involved. Yeah. yeah. Johnny? He has like six of my favorite. He has like six of my top six favorite intros. Even though know you hate this character. Johnny? Yeah. Uh, nobody likes playing against Johnny. Name one person who likes playing against Johnny. That's right. You can't think of a single one. And uh, I think we can. Oh, nice. We there. can assume that White Boy's on the list of people that don't enjoy playing against Johnny. Yeah, I would. Right I now. would imagine so. But DJT is so commanding in this first round. Just needs chip death here. That's it. Yeah, that's gonna do it. And this is an interesting pick of a character from DJT. We've. I've never seen him use A-list in tournament. Not in tournament, he used Fisty Cuffs. I mean, that's the first time we actually I think saw him beat Fox, but... I mean, he's always played Johnny. Like, he's always liked Johnny in, in the previous games, so... Yeah. Uh, Johnny and Sub actually were his mains. I mean, he's, he's he really good at this. He's really yeah. good at playing, like, a grounded, neutral game, and I don't know, I think this is a good fit for him. Didn't block the overhead. No, that's a tough. That's a tough mix-up right there. Yeah. He can either do the overhead, or he can just do nothing, or he can do a tick throw off of that knee. Nice block. And even if you do block the overhead, it's only minus one. Oh, and that's that. Wow. Good round from White Boy, keeping him in the corner and playing that neutral game with him. He's <laughs> he's really giving Johnny a taste of his own medicine. Yeah. Just killing How him with does knees. It feel, man. <laughs> I don't like that teleport though. Okay, now he's out of the corner. That's okay. Now. Oh, Ooh. nice little walk back. Oh, D mini shimmy. DJT is spacing on that 424. The overhead string is yeah, so clean. He's one of the best neutral players in our community. Plus on block. Ooh, nice. Nice, gets out. Try this. This, this is not really, work. really smart. Oh, from DJT, but here comes White Boy. The reversal and the damage buff. And he's just going to block. Oh! oh. 
Nice. Oh, good good kick to the face. DJT just playing. Interest in general. I don't exactly even Paulo, know who to. You know? There are a lot more than Paulo. I love Paulo, but there are a lot of unsung heroes over oh, absolutely. there at their studio. Like and Derek. <laughs> Tyler. I don't think Tyler's a programmer. No, he's not. <laughs> but he's no, programmed in my heart, though. Ooh, wow. You know what I'm saying. All right, blocks the overhead string again. Now, he's, DJC is blocking that overhead string a lot. I would love to see White Boy try to mix it up a little bit. There it is. Red screen again. Oh, how did he find <laughs> he that? Just hit, he must have just hit every button at once and just like hoped that he got the right one. I, <laughs> I would be so angry if I was White Boy right now. I know. <laughs> First thing he did is just guess the right button on EX. What a scumbag. Oh. But match point for DJT on that incredible read. That's a that's how you know somebody's too good at reads when they can read randomized buttons. Actually, to be honest, they're not 100 percent randomized. There's different yeah, sets there's of different sets. Shout out to yeah Ultra again. David so he found it. it. He found it. But it's not the same every time. I don't believe is it. I'm gonna have to double check on that. I think it actually is the same. I think it's randomized for different characters, like they each have their own. But I think for the most part, it might be the same for the character that you're playing. Again, don't, I'm not yeah. sure if that's 100% correct, but... Oh, again, low profiling. Yeah, you can low profile all of Jason's armor. Low profiling again, that has been the story of this matchup. DJT is playing a solid neutral game. And low profiling a lot of white boys' attacks with Jason. Nice, goes for the tick throw. That's going to throw him full screen, but it's going to get the kill. Him around. That's what's most important. When you're on match, when you're on reverse match yeah. point, that is what's most important. Ooh, just getting caught by the zoning. But Johnny's zoning is very effective, especially against a tall character like Jason. He's got good genes, but not good genes to fight uh, Johnny Cage. <laughs> I would be much better in real life at fighting Johnny Cage zoning than you would be. Because you're like, so much taller me? than me. So what, what are you trying to say here? I'm saying I can get through his zoning better. I can just walk under it. I'm so short. You're, uh, you'd run into it. Sorry, buddy. And, right, ooh, so almost a flawless. JT. Finish him. What is he trying here? All right, we're going to have Oh, he got it. He got it. I was going to say we'd ha we would have to DQ him if he didn't figure out how to do that as on principle. But yeah, I mean, Johnny. it's just watching Johnny Cage, too. Like, this, you know exactly what he's doing. He's just getting you in. Yeah, I'm. It's still. Well, can we get a shout out to uh, Michelangelo's level? He's level one. That's a lot of online success right there. <laughs> you can tell he plays online a lot. All right, so yeah, like I was saying, this is the nice. variation where he's going to be able to set himself up into armor portals, which will save him a lot of life on um, getting caught by stray hits by Master of Souls in particular. Yep. And it, what's funny is, so I did a, a prediction video with the twins, mm -hmm. and we all agreed that Ermac actually fights Quan really well, and even pre patch definitely still fought Quan really well in Master Souls and in Spectral. So this is going to be an uphill battle for Michelangelo. Yeah, like we were saying earlier, we've seen this matchup a lot in Season 1 from Shujinkini versus Big D, Fred, and. Shujinki did. Shujinki oh, nice trade. Said that he hated this matchup. Yeah. He thinks it was super in the favor of Ermac. But of course, he was using Summoner, so this is a totally different game. There we go. Right there is exactly why he picked that. Yep. This variation. If he was Summoner right there, that trade would have been 40% in Beyond Toxin's favor. But he's playing Sorcerer, so nice. it's not. Sky drop. There it is. So Michael Angelo answering right back. I love the Sorcerer pick. I'm glad that he's not just playing Summoner, although I know he still does. Yeah, this is going to be entirely about momentum right here. Oh, dropped combo. Again, using the Interactable because of Quan's lack of armor in Summoner and Sorcerer variations. Yeah, you have to learn that. That's something we've been saying a lot this season, actually. Ooh, what's he doing here? What kind of down two uh, combo? I don't down know one? If that was really That's the kill. Yeah. He's got the, the Soul Ball. Oh, he dropped it, but <laughs> that was so much damage by top. He kind of got blown up a little bit, but that that, that would happen no matter which yeah. variation he chose. So I, I guess he just wants to really be on the offensive more rather than just sitting in the portals. And he's going to set up the bat. Now here comes the zoning because this is a very zone-heavy variation now that the crazy vortex is gone. Ooh, use the meter just to get another bat. 
Good. Oh, I was gonna say good patience, but not too great patience. I love this. I love seeing this from Michelangelo. What an adaptation. Oh, doesn't get the full combo. Nice. No, no meter, though. Michelangelo. Oh, this is gonna be big. He's gonna probably end in a restand for a mix-up here. Yep, and he does. Oh, instant air. Oh, he tried to bait that. Yeah. He knew that was coming again. This stage that was a has worked out so nice. well for Michelangelo. Oh, Ooh. what a read instant air soul ball. And Chip here should do it. Oh. Wait. Oh, just barely missed the tip of that back two. Yeah. Back two, right? Uh, the, yeah. The finger the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen Quan. <laughs> yeah, it has been a really long time since yeah, we've seen Quan, to be Kwan honest. But this is exactly how most of Quan matchups go. If he gets his stuff started, it's great for him. If he doesn't, good luck, buddy. Nice jump back. It's going to be a nice punish, and he's going to be able to get his bat out. Yeah, of course, in the last nerf, they made it so that you can't really get that vortex without spending meter. Yeah. Oh, and a bad trade again. That's been the name of the game, really. That's why people don't like this matchup. This is exactly where that sorcerer armor would be huge, but a nice punish. All right, just going to set up the bat again. What's Toxin going to do here? Ooh, nice setup. Uses the interactable to, to kind of confuse it. Yeah, and throw I like that a lot. Along with that. It was, it's kind of like the old setups, but from full screen. Nice conversion there off the bat. Here we go, Michelangelo. But beyond Toxin, I mean, I also want to say about Toxin, he is pretty much the most consistent player aside from like Fox and Scar. Oh, that That's was such base. a nice anti air. Oh, into the restand. He used that solo right before he made that anti air, but he just knew exactly how to extend the combo oh. long enough to get himself that solo back. Oh, here we go. What a nice conversion, Michelangelo. Oh, oh that was so smart. That was really risky, but yeah. I mean, that took a lot of guts to do. Now, Michelangelo does only, there you go. He has his own, only bar gone now. Yeah. So his and zoning's going to be considerably The reason weaker. why we noticed that Michelangelo never has bar is because he's using most of it to get out of the corner. Sky drop. Nope, just a clean punish. Great patience by Michelangelo. That was kind of an interesting decision too though from Beyond Toxin. The teleport? Fight. Ooh, they're just jumping past each other and oh there we go, the trade again. That was a bad trade though for Michelangelo. I can't believe the fact that Michelangelo is still trying those setups, just trying trying to zone. Like just throwing skulls from full screen when he knows that the soul ball can be Nice Coming at him. Michelangelo out of meter. Now, Quan is just such a meter dependent character now. Yeah. The problem is, Michelangelo doesn't have any. Toxin is sitting on a full stick of butter. Three bars. Oh, full punish there. Yeah. Nice. Now he's going to get the restand into a mix up. What's it going to be? I think he was maybe hoping to trade with a soul ball so the trance would stop that, but unfortunately, Beyond Toxin dominating that. Round two, yeah, he just uh, decided five. as soon as he got the mix-up potential, he just started using his kind of mini mix-up. Oh, oh, nice conversion! That, that would have been huge if he didn't break that. It was already 20%, pretty big. All right, out of meter again for Michelangelo, but he does have the bat. No conversion off of it, though. This is going to be tough. Went for an NJP, no a jump kick. Nice down one anti-air into the conversion. Now, Ermax down one is actually really good for cross-ups. Cross yeah. anti-airs. Oh, that's caught. Barely at the tip of the overhead. Ooh, no conversion. Toxin's getting a little bit impatient here. Ooh, gets flipped. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no conversion. conversion. And that's gonna be a nice spacing punish right there. So close. Oh no, he he's not gonna be able to break. That's gonna do it. Beyond Toxin gonna go up two to one. The brutal. I love that brutal. Yeah. The pose that Ermac does when he does that brutal. There you go. Has been for a while. Yeah, and this could really push him up. Actually, he's the player tonight with the most points going into this top. Yep. He's got 55 points. He's in a solid sixth place right now. And if he gets, if he wins this, he's guaranteed to at least be within, be in third place. Yeah. So just winning one more game for him could be big. But Michelangelo's not really letting that happen. No. But Michelangelo is what I was going to say was playing very smart, but lucky for him, no punish. 
<laughs> there was still no souls. Yeah, no souls. Oh! That was very dangerous with Michelangelo now backing up and eating a soul ball. Oh. And, excuse me, anti air. Beyond top. Oh, that's gonna kill. Oh no, it doesn't quite kill. Just needs chip. There yeah. you go. This is gonna put himself in the corner, but he's gonna put himself on match point with if that. If Michelangelo too. would have sky dropped there, I think he actually could have punished himself. Well. It's possible. <laughs> that's hard to block. So dirty. All right, hard knockdown. Bat summon. What's the mix up? Ooh, low, low. Oh, nice little shimmy, but throwing him out of the corner. Yeah, that's not good. And again, no meter for Michelangelo. That's that's been that's probably his biggest nerf. The fact that he needs meter for so much now and he just can't. He needs access. meter for everything. He needs to be able to zone to build that meter, but the fact that Soul Ball is such a threat is stopping him from building that meter. Yeah. That's that's always been persistent. Oh, oh. that's gonna do it. And that was a great bait, just down throwing him on wake up. Of course, Quan Chi's armor is extremely slow, it's slowest garbage. armor in the game. So unless just, you're playing Warlock. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Warlock is eleven frame armor, so we could have maybe seen that. That would have been an interesting matchup. But yeah. uh great bait at the end by Beyond Toxin, and he's gonna be the one to go against DJT. So Beyond Toxin is gonna move up to third place in our points. He's gonna move ahead of uh, Red Raptor, and he's gonna be able to just and it looks like we will be seeing Shaolin versus Tarkatan, exactly who uh, we thought they were going to oh, use. Nice air to air. What a start for Dragon here. Oh, nice. Hits the 50 50. That is one of the big advantages that Alien has over his previous counterpart, aka Tanya, yeah. <laughs> is that he does have true mix ups and they're really far range. Wow, he's working on a flawless here. Oh, trades. Oh, that was a very unfortunate jump for Slayer. It was stuck in the corner. Wow, what a round from Dragon. That was as close to a flawless as you can get, because he actually traded on the only hit that he took. And not only that, but he has Slayer in the corner. This is perfect position right now for Dragon. Now, I, nice, that's a gap. I did talk to Slayer a, a really early in MKXL's life about this character, and he said that at least pre-pack, he thought that Tarkhan Alien was the strongest character in the entire game. Well, I mean, that's an opinion shared by a lot of people, but it, now it's kind of been between Acidic and Tarkatan. True, true. And pretty much the only Tarkatan, true Tarkatan main that we've seen is Dragon. But wow, he's he's making short work of Slayer right here. Oh, drops the combo. Slayer's a chance to come back. Nice. Throws him in the corner. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. He, he just saw that jump back and just pick, but... Yeah, I, I won't say who chose who, but these were our two picks, possibly. And it's really interesting to see just nice. how such strong players do against each other. I love the spacing from Slayer, now trying to come back. Going to a little zoning, I like this. Oh, nice. Hit that up. Up. Uh -huh. The second hit of that, that move is overhead, so a lot of times he'll do the first hit and then do the low... Cancel into the low Rekka, yep. yeah. Or not, excuse me, low shock from that Rekka. <laughs> And Slayer, wow, he's really taking this one back. Oh no, Dead. another clean air to air from Dragon. Dragon using meter, he doesn't have any meter anymore. Nice block, tries the back dash, doesn't work out. Now stuck in the corner. Here comes Dragon for a comeback. Oh, wow. wow. Slayer tried to do something on every single wake up that round. He had such a lead. He should take a, a little bit of a, a cue from DJT, as we saw earlier, just patience, not yeah. letting him get that comeback. He disrespected Dragon far too much, and he went from what looked like a really great round for Slayer yeah, to Dragon. Yeah, he just used all of his bar. Yeah. Dragon's got the momentum heavily now. Great block by Dragon, too. Now stuck in the corner. That up kick, unfortunately, usually a great tool. Now moving against Slayer as he's stuck in the corner still against Dragon. And Slayer's pressing a lot of buttons, but not really trying to armor out of anything. He's just getting caught every time that uh, Dragon touches him. It's, it's weird. He needs some patience. Uh, yeah, Dragon has not showed that he's not going to slow up. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah. Kissy. <laughs> Dragon has press buttons on Slayer's wake up every single time, and that's got to be an indication. For years, I was telling Slayer, Slayer, just zone, just be patient. You don't need to play so wild. And, you know, as, as a friend of mine, I, I feel like this is a strange uh, repeat of many years uh, but ago. But Dragon is playing absolutely incredible right now. Granted, yes, he's using Alien, but he's playing very smart. Nice. 
that's the greatest thing about Tarkonis. Its damage is huge. Look at that, 38%. Yeah. And, this and is again, just gets now. caught by a jump over on his wake up. Slayer is doing whatever he can to just get caught in these situations. He needs, yeah, he needs some some patience. We're already he, on match point. We are. I did not expect this to be a potential 3-0 for Dragon. Uh, by any means. No, neither did I. In fact, I thought it was slightly in Slayer's uh, favor, but my goodness. It's not looking good for Slayer at all right now. Nice, uses the armor to get out. He can finally start something. Yeah, uses the down one to check, and then he immediately gets out of there with a backdash. Down one wreck wow. his connect. Doesn't even combo, but... He's gonna turn it into a combo right side now. Side switch, beautiful. I love that side switch combo. All right, so he needs to do something. He woke up with, again, a disrespectful wake up. This is going to be the end of him. This should That's be a game. meaty. That is game. Dragon does not drop any timings, man. So Slayer, he tried to wake up with a move that didn't have armor. Disrespecting Dragon is... It is banned. You cannot disrespect Dragon, as we've learned just now. Slayer just not playing the matchup right now. It's strange. I, I just didn't expect that from him after... What was Oh, it's so Mystic. Mystic. So we have seen him pick Mystic in situations where he wants to have better defensive options. Yeah, or better Just zoning. like that. Well, the, his EX push is now even on block, and it's got armor, so it's one of the yeah. best armored options in the game. It's also got great range, it absorbs life and meter, and pushes the opponent back. It's really good, and so I think he, what he's going to do here is he's going to just try to build meter. Oh, well, that's that was unsafe, safe, though. Yeah, uh, he's going to try to build meter and just... Save it for that oh, armor. And in the words of MIT and DJT, oh, you go, going to jail now. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, stuck in block pressure. Ooh, running all the way up. I would like to see a little bit of float zoning. Oh, no, that's not good. That this should, should kill. do it, yeah. Just anything, literally. 1-1. One, one. Technically, he could have done, like, one into a special to get a little bit more chip, but I'm really nitpicking. But, there. yeah. Nice blocks the double low. Oh, and he just immediately goes for the armor in between. In between. Ooh, trying right to push outside them. the range of push range, but there it is. And uh, John talks to healing back a lot of life now. Yeah. He almost got back to full there, but now he's going to be without oh, meter. That oh. jump too is so good for crossovers. Nice. Whiffing in air blast to build a little bit of meter. And I'm not sure what he tried to do there, but he got far away. Whoa, went over the down four. Okay. That's the opposite of how that yeah. usually works. Usually that goes under things. Oh, nice tech on the grab, but I mean, that was just a really bad situation. Yeah, you'd, you'd have to like randomly guess and backdash at the perfect frame. Good luck. Nice, again, going over the down four with that forward three. I guess a lot of the moves that Ermac has because he floats in the air are kind of, they high profile. Technically in the air, yeah. Yeah. Number. Nice, using push on him. That's a really smart play from Toxin right now. And even on block, nice, chose not to approach Oh, afterwards. misses the conversion and then eats an overhead with that forward forward. We end UK. We oh, end UK. nice armor. Here we go, this is the pressure. This is what DJT needs. Nice block, oh no. Oh. That was a perfect timing there. Just yep. delayed that forward three a little bit. No meter to break. This should actually, oh no. One more hit. Oh, trading lows. Oh, and that should be a punish. Oh, uh, red fireball. I think he actually could have just shadow but kicked see, that than the rest of them because he can do his air ground pound so much faster, as we can see right there. Oh, he just not punches him out of the air. He actually, I think he tried to fly over, but I think if he had flown up and forward, he would have avoided it and been able to punish it. Yeah. But unfortunately, got caught by the nut. Oh, punch. I love the little stagger walks back. Oh, full combo here. Oh, doesn't go for the teleport combo. Just oh, goes that pressure. was so oh. sick. I don't even know what he's doing here. All right, flight combo in the corner. 41%, so much damage meterless. Oh, no. The air blast doesn't hit. Oh, neither does the nut punch. That's not great for either of them. And the zoning, he should be able to just charge yeah, or teleport. teleport. Spectral does, of course, have the nine frame. Like, it's similar to a Raiden Superman. Soul charge, the yeah. yeah, the charge. Ooh, catches him with the knee. You very rarely see DJT's knees get blocked. That's true, and that also is, again, the spacing. Yeah. He always backs up and then knees right as he backs up, just with perfect spacing. Oh, what? That was like a little no mix-up mix-up. 
No, don't drop. Wait, why am I? Well, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not rooting for anyone. <laughs> I don't think we've had a single match since we started commentating together where you weren't rooting for one of the players. Look, I love all these guys, <laughs> some more than others. No, you, I mean, you, you love watching this game too, yeah. so it's, it's hard not to have a little bit of a favorite. But, of course, everybody that we commentate are great players. Yes. These two are actually really fun to watch. Beyond Toxin really has come into his own since last season. Yeah, definitely. Our most consistent player so far this season. Oh no, drops the air combo. Oh, Ooh, didn't get punished. Gets, that's what we call American <laughs> resets. <laughs> oh, so much damage. Oh, nice oh, finish. Oh, oh, oh. Toxin. He good at neutral, but Alien, especially Tarkatan, is a character that just yeah. dominates. Yeah, neutral. that's also true. And I mean, Ermac is great on offense, but. <laughs> Alien has, is a character that has such great defense, too. So it's it's really going to be tough for whoever has to play fight against Dragon because he's so good with that character. Wow, what a <laughs> round from Peon Toxin. Round two. That was almost 30 seconds. You were talking, yeah, you were talking for like 10 seconds and the round was already over. Nice, nut punch. He's been really consistent with landing those and getting Toxin out of the air with the X-Nut punch. Has Yen seeing that knee, four three, just so consistently hitting. There are a lot of ways to bait that nut punch, like I said. I mean, even if you just do the flight into the ground pound, it pulls you up further in the air, making the ground pound or the nut punch with. Oh, Ooh. nice down two. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Well, Johnny looks so shiny right now. Yeah. What is going on, dude? It's just he's really putting a lot of work. Nice oh, block. That was a cancel. Miss. That was not a good punish. Now, Spectral's meterless damage is really high. He can get near 40 without meter at all. Oh, Ooh. nice anti. Beautiful. Back up two. Good stuff. Toxin. That's going to be the kill. There it is. Wow. Going for the. Look at all that damage, man. 40% off of Nibia's first win. Uh, I think that it would be. If he wins this, I think him and Dragon, neither of them, I believe, have won before. But I could be wrong. I feel like Dragon could have won. Uh, what is he just flying away? He's just flying away, and oh, that teleport didn't work. That was a little disrespectful right there. Could have just gone for a ground pound. Went for something really gimmicky, and uh, he paid for it a lot. That was a late break. Nice jump back air to air. Nice block on the overhead. Oh, nice Ooh. convert. Beautiful stuff. That was a beautiful conversion. That should be the kill there. Yeah, Cheap. That's it. Cheap. Don't say nice little jab in the face. DJT, and he has Toxin exactly where he wants him. Right in the corner there. This is huge. DJT could tie it up here. Ooh, drop combo. Nice. Just gets out of there. Just jump back. Plus three, I believe, oh, on that. that was a risk. DJ2 looks like he could even this up very easily. Yeah. This has been 110% DJT. Nice. That's, oh, no conversion, though. That's going to do it. DJT just like that. My goodness. Wow. Toxin didn't hammer, like I said, and he doesn't get those really good safe mix-ups. And Oh, getting getting caught immediately. We have you now. We have you now. Getting back a little bit of life there. Nice usage of the interactables. Man, he's missed a lot of jump overs in yeah. the set, you can tell. This time he's a little bit off. Ooh, nice. Down forward goes underneath the overhead. This is looking very good for DJT right now. I actually think that Toxin needs to go a little bit more wild. He's losing in this solid neutral game, and ooh, there we go. Catches him with a back one, two, four. Getting a little bit of damage off the pound, but I mean, overall, DJT's patience right now is really what's going to give him the set. It runs right into a knee. Look at that knee. Look at that knee. And uh, point, match point now for DJT, potentially going up to fight Dragon in finals. Oh, nice block, but that's going to be safe. That was a really nice buff that Ermac got in all variations recently. Oh, normal wake up push. That was risky. Oh, and beautiful. Oh, my box. goodness. A nice conversion. Oh, that was so no. risky. No. Oh, but the DJT combo drop's going to give him a chance. Drop. Nice block. Ooh, pushing to push. one. Yep. Pushing to nothing. Trying to close this out. We have so many EX pushes, but he's yeah. out of meter now. This is dangerous. Both players, neither of them have meter. Toxin now with a little bit of the life lead. 
beautiful blocks. He hasn't gotten hit by a single mix-up this entire game. Oh, goes for the throw. Jumps out. Good this punish. So tense. DJT. Even on the patience oh. again. <laughs> but what a presence of mind from Beyond Toxin. That was so much patience for DJT. I want to say almost a little bit too much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, no, no. I mean, if he blocked at the end right there, he would have won actually. I don't think that chipped him. Oh, but this is looking really good as a start for DJT. Oh, and gets clipped again. Why? You cannot disrespect after the this forward is three. The power of Cage. Nice blocks. Oh, here we go. He gets a start. Missed it getting that meterless damage. Building a little bit of meter so he gets that safe push. We have no. Oh, he's going to use it for he a life. He should not that have used that. He needed that to get out of the pressure. Oh, and Denzel being so patient, just blocking again. You see the X push. This Even is now literally anyone's game. Oh, no conversion. Didn't have the stamina. Oh, my oh. goodness. This shouldn't be the kill, but it's going to put him really close, potentially chip life. Oh! oh and the wow! I this is absolutely huge for both of these players. Yeah, so at this point, as far as points go, uh, Mr. Toxin is going to be third no matter what. He will be in third place. Dragon, Dragon desperately he's going needs to win. He needs this win to be he will he will be third instead. Or no, I'm sorry, he'll be he'll be fourth, he'll be right fourth. behind him right behind. if he wins. But if he doesn't win, he'll be down in like sixth place. And he's actually chosen to go Master of Souls here in this matchup. Nice backdash. What a punish. Here we go. Beyond Toxin. Ooh, very nice. Plus unblock for that. Okay, so he baits it out, but no punish. Wow, strange. I, how negative is that? Uh, it is considerably negative. Okay. It should be punished, but it just got we very low. We never see that, make, uh, that wake up either. We never see it blocked. That was the first time we've seen it blocked also, in the entire yeah, league. Or we'll see like the overhead fox. Like yeah. consistently, we don't really get to see that. True. And I'm surprised that he would even use it. He's got safe armored Rekkas, essentially safe armored Rekkas. Right. He's got uh, the EX spin, which is a tool that we never really see Dragon use, but it is a Tarkatan unique move. Yeah. It's a seven frame multiple hitting launching armored move, which is so good. It anti-air, it does else? everything. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll make you cookies. It, I don't think it'll, it'll make your either. bed. I don't know. It's really useful. Oh, nice. Again with that overhead instant air. It's blast. Nice stuff. Toxic. There it is. You saw it right yeah. there. And that was actually the first time I've ever seen it hit and not get Oh, it just goes for down two for chip. Oh, no. Goes for a back one. Misses. Oh, he needs patience. Nice Great block. Great block. That was beautiful. Shades on stream. Right, you said just... some pretty wild things, but you won't do math. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. All right. Good start by Dragon. Take him all the way to the corner. He does have that corner rack full. The big stick with spikes in it. So much damage in the corner. It's still Dragon holding all of this pressure. Dragon working on a flawless. And he's, he's going to get it. <laughs> I don't think Beyond Toxin like, pressed a button that game. I mean, got a chance to. Now he has all the resource to work with, though. I mean, but again, the thing with Master of Souls is meter isn't terribly important because his damage all comes from meterless combos anyway. True, but the one of the biggest mix-up games here. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, lives. the Rekkas, the Rekkas are you, you can delay them, so you can make sure that they don't have a gap in between any of the hits, right there. but it's minus. And if you want it to be safer or plus, you have to make sure, you have to time it so there's a gap in between the hits. So the best way for Ermac to get out of that is to use his meter and use a safe, his safe 15% damage armored move. Wow, and what an answered round from Toxin. And we saw that in the gaps from Dragon right there when Toxin uses the X Soul Blast. Yep. So meter is more important in this matchup perhaps than any other matchup against Master of Souls Ermac. Oh, oh nice comment. Oh, oh, why did that not combo? I think maybe he was at the top of that jump too. Maybe, but still. Oh, nice catches him out of the air. And with the barrel, very nice patience in the zoning game. Using a lot of backdashes, Toxin is trying to just kind of keep his distance away from Alien, and that's really smart. Ooh, no conversions off any of the overheads he's hit. Very nice block. That is neutral, that string. Oh, that's going to switch sides. So much damage. Getting 40 here. 
Oh, oh. gets caught by the overhead. Oh, but he didn't continue it, just going for the pressure. He, I mean, he got it anyways, though. So yeah. Dragon is going to move up a game, 1-1. One, one. React to. So a lot of aliens, especially Tarkatans, will try to counter poke with the down one as soon as they get advantage. So they see your down one come out, they are down one get caught by the blast. Fortunately, he's getting caught by a blast right to his face. And that was the first wake-up teleport we've seen the entire day by Ooh, Toxic. That was interesting. There's those uh, wake up EX Rekkas, something they took away from Tanya but decided to give to Alien. <laughs> oh, Evan, never change. Nice patience. Again, oh. down one Rekkas, like yep. you said. So hard to deal with that. You have to armor out, and it's almost preemptive when you have to armor out of it. Oh no, he could have punished that way harder, but instead he's going to get put back in the corner. Nope, nope that was smart. Honestly, that was a good decision. Teleport, get out of the corner. I'm okay with that. Right. Dragon actually could have ended that he with forward 1-3 yeah. into the crawl and switch sides. But he didn't, so it worked out for Tarkin either way. And runs right into the soul ball. This is going to be very healthy damage in the corner. Nice, doesn't block the, the mix-up after that. Ooh, just wake up raw crawl. Nice, and there's that safe armor. That's yep. something, something we need oh, to see. Oh, what an edge here. Down three, if anything, it should have been down four. I know. <laughs> But hey, it worked, and again, that, sorry to interrupt, but that is something we don't see a lot from Toxin, is down four anti -airs. That's true. I'm starting to feel like I'm the only one who uses <laughs> It's such a good button it for is, that, It is, it is. But the thing is, Ermac has so many good anti -airs. Yeah, he does. Back one, down four, down three, down one, down two, yeah. standing two, standing one, standing <laughs> yeah. four, forward four, lift. That's literally all of his buttons. <laughs> four, soul three, ball. soul ball. Um, there's more, I'm sure, but I'm... I'm out of thoughts about what he even has his moves. Ooh, big break right that there. That was actually, I like that break. I Me like too. that breaker. Oh, oh no. I don't like that though from Toxin. But no meter to take advantage of that by Dragon. He has it now though. Yeah. That won't be the kill. Great block. Okay. Ooh. And again, down one into the blast, beating the counter poke. Oh, and he can zone don't here. Don't teleport, don't you dare teleport. Toxin, oh, oh again. Jordan from the free throw line. Oh, that's gonna do it! Wow! You're just gonna rename everybody in the scene. Ooh, starts with down four in the Rekkas. There's actually a larger gap in down four Rekkas than there is in down one Rekkas. Alright, taking him to the corner, ending in the leap. Nice, uses the overhead. Again, he whips the back one, makes him think they're gonna do the back one, one, three, which is low, and then goes for the overhead immediately. And actually just went for the low that time. Kind of the mix up. Oh, I'm surprised that jump two whiffed. Ooh, nice. It's low this time. That was such a huge risk, though, from Toxin. Drop combo by Toxin means he doesn't get the Oki he wanted. Getting pushed back to unblock to mid screen. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that could be big. It is big. One more mix up here. Good block. Oh, oh went low no, twice, but, but no souls. He could have used meter. Oh, but uh, he used the break. I don't know about that break. I don't like that breaker at all. I think the break could have been okay, but he needed to not do that that jump immediately Instant because ball, yeah. that leap is just it's on deck. Constantly. Again, another beautiful anti here from Beyond Toxin. But Dragon's on match point here. Tournament point. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, shades of Sonic Fox. Ooh, tried to disrespect him on Wake Up. Never disrespect Mr. Dragon, ever. Honestly, Dragon has been playing incredible all day. He has. But, oh, so much damage here. One more mix up's gonna take it. That's it. Nice. And Toxin, though, is fighting. Fighting for not only himself, but as well as Noble. Dude, where is Dab? Speaking of aliens, does he also play Star God? I don't know. I don't know. He's been using, like, uh, Ju uh Jupiter, I said. <laughs> He's been using Jax. Jupiter, huh? <laughs> He's using Jupiter. <laughs> no, uh, so, okay, still, still match point for Dragon. Toxin, can even it up right here. He uses the armor. Great choice. He has so much meter for armor right here. He needs to just abuse that. Ooh. All right, so here we go. Nice, switches it up. He's been doing low overhead oh, so much. Can. No, the punish, but no, he doesn't have very much meter. He's only going to get a little bit percent, 21. A little bit percent for the damage. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Uh, this a little is very bit close. Toxin needs to close this out. Oh, One more hit, teleport. Just do it. Nice. Toxin is going to even this up with the Brutal. It's going to be 2-2, final game between Dragon. Yeah. And he, I mean, 
the way he's playing today, I can't imagine who's knocking him out unless it's Fox. Like, even Scar has shown trouble against Alien. I mean, playing Alien himself with Conjurer. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's been learning him. Dragon is incredibly impressive. Nice block. Oh, but gets caught by the down one and gets caught by the overhead again. Dragon's pulling out all the tricks for this final game. But will it be enough? Oh no, here we go. One hit is all it takes from Ermac, especially Master of Souls. Highest minus damage in the game. Hands down. He's missing those jump overs yeah, all nice. day today. I think he's doing it a little too early because that jump over two is such a good hitbox. It does. Now this isn't quite going to be the kill, but if he gets touched, he will be chipped here. He's just, yeah, that should do it. I, I would have tried that something there. That string is so good. It's 4, 2, 3, and then 4, four 2, 3, yeah, 4, 3, 4, yeah. 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3. It's a really good string. The, for the new chain fist, basically. But the big thing about it is that it doesn't have enough block advantage or cancel advantage to jail into stuff on block. So as soon as the string ends, you can armor in between that and almost anything the alien can do. Is that string alone safe? Uh, no, it's not. Okay. All right, Dragon on match point, getting a lot of damage in the corner here. Toxin doesn't have some meter though. Oh, the drop! Oh, oh but he, he wakes up into it. He actually could have gotten a conversion off of that. You can down one after a raw uh, chop chop. Which is actually what it's called. Oh, and this is going to be the damage. This is almost going to be the kill. It's going to put him one mix-up away. Nice goes for the float, but uh, Blade Wake Up's going to prevent that. Yeah, I mean, he's been pretty consistent with those instant air soul balls, but here we go. A chance for Toxin. Oh, oh air to air. That's it. That's the kill. Oh, no. Oh, he had it, but that's okay. it. So, okay, so that was such an intelligent decision, too, because Toxin had the meter to break. Yeah. He, so he could have actually had the kill right there like I thought he was going to, but he would have broken. So.